Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about various types of TE modes in rectangular waveguide. So, what are the different modes that are existed in the rectangular waveguide for TE? So, TE stands for transverse electric. We already know TE stands for transverse electric. So, transverse electric mean, means electric field in the direction of propagation it is 0 and the magnetic field is a non-zero value because the wave which is perpendicular to the direction of the wave which is perpendicular to the direction of the electric field that is existed. That means the component which is there in that uh, name that is zero electric field component is zero magnetic field component is a non-zero value okay now what we are doing what we are going to calculate we are going to see what are the different modes that are existed in the rectangular waveguide for te te modes te modes that means when a wave is being traveled in the rectangular waveguide it will accomplish a number of diff patterns different different patterns that it accumulated so all those patterns are known as all those patterns are known as modes okay so the electromagnetic signal or the em wave inside a rectangular waveguide inside a waveguide can have an infinite number of infinite number of patterns that are called what are they modes okay so when the electromagnetic signal is being traveled in a rectangular waveguide it will be having it will be experiencing different types of patterns each pattern is nothing but a mode Okay, mode is given with a number generally like uh, M and N, T, E, M, N. Mode is indicated by, mode is indicated by, T, E, M, N. In case of T, M, it is T, M, M, N. In case of T, E, it is T, E, M, N. Okay, so on the surface of the conductor, the electric field cannot have a component parallel to the surface. So that indicates the electric field must have always a perpendicular to the surface of the conductor. Suppose if you are taking a rectangular waveguide like this, the electric field component is always, it means the electric field is always existed perpendicularly along the x-axis, along the axis it is not existed. Okay, that's why it is 0 and that's why in the boundary conditions also we have taken the electric field component is 0 along the boundary, along all the boundaries on x axis E x we have taken and y axis E y we have taken. Okay, so along the boundary, so along the boundary, along the boundary what happens the electric field component the electric field component is zero along the boundary the electric field component is always zero where it is existed it is perpendicularly it is it is existed it is nothing but electric field it is existed perpendicular To whom? To the surface. Perpendicular to the surface. So, electric field is existed perpendicular to the surface. But it is zero on along the surface. Okay. So, now we need to take those four equations. Again, those four equations. I am recalling the four equations because in order to calculate TE0, TE00, TE0011011, you should definitely know the equations EX, EY, HX and HY because whether the mode is existed or not that can be determined by just 
substituting those m and n values in this ex if any component is a non zero value among these four then we can say that the mode is existed okay so ex is equal to minus j omega mu by h square c n pi by b cos m pi by a x sin n pi by b y e power j omega t minus gamma z and coming to e y minus j omega mu by h square c m pi by a uh, sin m pi by a into x cos n pi by b into y e power j omega t minus gamma z again hx is equal to gamma by h square c m pi by a sin m pi by ax cos n pi by b y e power j omega t minus gamma z and hz hy hy is equal to gamma by h square c n pi by b cos m pi by a x what is this sin sin n pi by b y e power j omega t minus gamma z now these are the four equations of the wave equations for t e wave e x e y h x and h y what we need to do now first case take m is equal to 0 n equal to 0 that mode is nothing but t e 0 0 t e 0 0 this is the first mode okay t e 0 0 mode Now, what about EX, EY, HX and HY, if M equal to 0, N equal to 0. E N equal to 0, first equation gone. M equal to 0, second equation gone. Third equation, M equal to 0 gone. Fourth equation is also gone. So, what happens now? EX is equal to, EY is equal to, HX is equal to, HY is equal to 0. All those four components are zeros, means that mode is not existed. Okay. So, TE. 0 0 does not does not exist okay t e 0 0 does not exist now second case take m is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 then let us see what is the mode name t e 0 1 mode t e m n so m first n next uh, what about these four ex, ey, hx, hy? Any non zero value is there? ex is equal to m equal to zero now. m equal to zero means definitely it is a non zero value. See here, m equal to zero only cos zero means one. The entire value becomes existed. And in the second case, m equal to zero, first this equation gone, hx is also gone, but hy is a non zero value. So ex is not equal to zero hx and ey are equal to 0 and hy is also a not equal to 0 value what about the te01 now is it existed or not definitely existed only one component is sufficient to be a non zero okay therefore te01 is existed te01 is existed next take the third case where m is equal to 1, n equal to 0. So, T e 1 0 mode now. T e 1 0 mode. In this also, E x is equal to 0, E y is a non-zero value and H x is equal to not equal to 0 and H y is equal to 0. So, here also T e 1 0 exists. 
because any one value any one value is sufficient to be non zero to say it is a mode it that mode is existed so fourth one take m is equal to 1 n equal to 1 what about that mode te 1 1 mode te 1 1 mode so in te 1 1 mode all the equations are a non zero values so ex is equal to ey is equal to h x is equal to hy is equal to a non zero value so this mode also existed te 1 1 also exists i told you when i was discussing tm modes i told you one dominant mode dominant mode is nothing but that is the least possible mode and all other are above modes existed below modes will not exist so which is the dominant mode in these cases however first first case te00 does not exist so no need to worry about this okay leave it coming to the second case it is a te01 te01 it is existed and above that mode is te10 that is also existed above that mode te11 that is also existed that means the least possible mode that is existed is te01 so what it is now it is dominant mode it is dominant mode te10 te01 is the dominant mode in the case of te waves among all the number of infinite number of uh, patterns or modes te1 te01 is the least possible mode that is uh, existed first that's why it is dominant mode okay so these are the different uh, modes of these rectangular wave in te thank you